Most what's of the time they call, call me Gene. What's your wife call you? Trouble. 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 <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> we'll go with that. I like that. <laughs> There's something like 15 letters in there, you know, encouraging us to start the program. Oh, look at all them guys there. Did you write the curriculum too then, Gene? Yes. Hey, Joel, do you want to read some of this here? Yeah. That's an interesting article on the program. What year was that? That was in 1979. It's talking about here that uh, equipment distrib di distributors, it says the course has won rec recognition as a successful model for uh, solving uh, construction's big mechanic shortfall. Okay, and then they're saying planetary gears, hydraulics, fuel injection system. Undercarriage repair and differentials are a few of the courses that are titled. Yeah, and a lot of that's still the same. <laughs> was this whole big building here when you started it? No. Oh, it wasn't? No. Yeah, it's about maybe a quarter of a mile across on the university compound over here. Oh, wow. What was your favorite part about teaching? Favorite part? Mm -hmm. What did you like best? Oh. You know, conversing with the students, you know. Listen to their troubles and... Yeah. I remember you used to eat uh, sunflower seeds. <laughs> the what? Yeah, you were a student, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, I remember that uh, you used to eat sunflower seeds oh. years ago. He used to chew on them. Yeah. Well, you did a good job. You taught us how to work on the old... We had an old D8 dozer here, and I remember yeah. working on the D8 dozer, pulling, taking, the taking cat, tracks. The yep. Cat D8. Yep. The cat, cat D8. What year did you graduate? 1992. So I would have been one of your last years. Yeah. Yeah. I broke my ankle in '92. You did mention on the phone that you were one of his worst students. Yep. Probably. Oh. Probably. <laughs> yeah. It's probably about. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think who Just think at that time you never, I bet you were, weren't thinking that you were going to become an instructor, were you? I wasn't. I no. wasn't. Yeah. But, what, yeah. what inspired you to come become a teacher? Um, actually... Did you think back to him teaching? I did. 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 I you? did. Yeah. That's yeah. I enjoyed my time here at school. He taught us how uh, transmissions worked and, yeah. uh, and, uh, and it's all... Um, one of the one of the things we uh, we uh, really work on with students is similar to what we learn. Very very strong foundational skills, whether it's in electrical, hydraulics, mm -hmm. engines, um, welding. We we like to make sure all the students they can they can arc weld, you know, make wire feed weld, light a light a torch right. That's a must. <laughs> So he sort of laid the foundation of teaching foundations, and would you say that's kind of accurate? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, hydraulic fittings, nuts and bolts. I mean, a lot of that hasn't changed in over. You know, it, it's maybe different yeah. types of fittings, but the but the foundation, the that, basic foundation, that, yeah. Yeah, that's that, cool. that you have to have those we'll uh, sure building that's blocks. Right. And uh, to be honest, we have. We have more job opportunities than we have students, and, and a lot of our employers really, really like our students because they have foundational yeah. skills. How is the enrollment been, Joel? Very good. Um, we we actually pretty much by the first first of the year will be uh, filled up with students. We start 26 students every every year, and and we often carry a waiting list of uh, 10 to 10 to 12 students going. So how many years of has it been where you've got a waiting list? It, it's been that way ever ever since I started. Oh, yeah. started. It sure makes your life easy, doesn't it? You yeah, well, and one of the things, one of the things what we've uh, changed since since I went to school. When I went to school, I remember we did an internship in our last semester of school. We would get started working with... with Back when he was teaching yeah. an internship? And unless I remember, um, um, what is no, what it, what has changed now is uh, we have folks like from John Deere, RDO, and Ziegler Cat, and RMS, and uh, different. We do a lot of work with Ames, Ames Construction now, and these folks 
they they'll hire the uh, students, these employers, right during their first semester of school. They want to get them started right away, and we they know that the students are new are green, but but uh, the uh, students are really. Uh, immersed in it. They, That's they, the fastest way for them to learn. Or, yep. The they best come, classroom is and the workplace. Yep. They'll they'll uh, come to school and they will be working on and now we started electrical, whatever the case may be. And they're finished with uh, school at, at right about noon. Some days they'll have a gen ed class, but other than that they'll go and they'll go and work at the employer in the afternoon. So they, two they, years under their belts by the time they get Exactly, graduate. exactly. So so in that in, I mean we've we've uh, so a great starting wage then it, when they graduate? Yeah, yeah. Many of these many of these students are starting out and you know it's not uncommon for them to start out at twenty five dollars an hour and some of these employers are doing three three thousand mm dollar -hmm. hiring bonuses for them plus that on top mm -hmm. of that just because they want to they want to retain that uh, that uh, student we have a, another student we just started partnering with uh, Ames and they said uh, we, we like this uh, young man so much we want to refund his college tuition back oh my back, back oh, yeah. what he what he paid because they want to keep him yeah it is what it amounts that's to. a great model for a program yeah, yeah. no wonder you have students yeah. have to get it yeah, know yeah. And, and so so i mean and, and the employers uh, um, help us recruit too. I mean, uh, um, a lot of a lot of these com companies have uh, grown to be so large. They have their own recruiters, and they'll work with the high schools. And they said, you know, they basically tell the students, "You want to come and go work for school, us, yeah. Dakota go counties, where you, <laughs> where you yeah. go to school." So, so what's the what's the I tuition? Uh, the uh, so so we have 72 credits is what the program is. Uh, a Dakota County credit is is around $200 a, a credit. So, so so over the course of two years, it's it's probably just under $15,000. Yeah, you know when I worked here, the tuition was free. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tuition was free when you taught the whole yeah. time you taught. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So so that that was. Uh, Pretty good, pretty pretty good deal. But but even if you look at today's standards, I mean, for that amount of money spread over two years, many many of the students graduate debt debt free if yeah. they manage their uh, money. Right? Especially that one kid that's going to have his, everything paid for. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, coming out today. Yeah, we. Uh, we did.